So Reina V. Bonta slash Reina V. Becerra, which is a challenge to California's handgun roster, has moved forward and has actually survived a motion to dismiss. So let's talk about this. But real quick before we jump into this video, if you think that California's handgun roster and them restricting which handguns you can and cannot purchase is a violation of your Second Amendment rights, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I also want to give a shout out to two of the main sponsors of the channel, the first being USCCA. Through your membership, you get training, education, and self-defense liability protection. So if you're in the market for something like that, if you carry a firearm, I highly recommend you look into USCCA and I'll put a link to them down in the detail section. I also want to thank Safe Life Defense. Safe Life Defense has some of the best soft body armor on the market for a good price. So again, if you're in the market for something like that, I highly recommend Safe Life Defense. And if you use the code ARMSCHOLAR, you will get 10% off of your order and I'll put a link to them down in the detail section as well. So Reina V. Bonta slash Reina V. Becerra is a challenge to California's handgun roster, as well as AB 2847, which is a new law that was passed in California, which was titled the backdoor handgun ban by a lot of us here in California. Now, if you're not familiar with what the handgun roster is, in the state of California, there is a roster or a list of approved handguns that you can find on the California DOJ's website, which gun stores are approved to sell to normal law-abiding individuals if they walk into a gun store. So for example, an ordinary individual like me, if I walk into a gun store, there is a list of approved handguns that I can buy from that gun store. Now, there are some exemptions to the handgun roster. For example, law enforcement officers are exempt and they can purchase off-roster handguns. And another workaround of the handgun roster is normal individuals can purchase on the secondary market off-roster handguns from law enforcement officers, but you are going to pay a premium. Likely what is going to have to happen is you're gonna to have to pay two, maybe three times as much for that handgun that's off-roster. Now, under the Unsafe Handgun Act, there is a list of requirements that a handgun must meet to be on the roster of approved handguns. These requirements to get on the handgun roster include things like micro stamping and being drop safe. Now, I mentioned micro stamping because this is what AB 2847 targeted. Um, the prior iteration of California law required there be two micro stampings on a spent casing. What micro stamping is, it is some sort of unique serialization that we put on a spent casing. And when that casing is ejected from the handgun, you have unique serial numbers for that specific handgun. Well, what actually happens is no manufacturer actually does this, so it's almost impossible for items to get on the handgun roster. What AB 2847 did is it reduced that requirement from two micro stamping spots to one. But also what AB 2847 did is it not just reduced that micro stamping requirement, but also it said for any handgun that does meet the requirements and does get on the approved list of safe handguns, three of the existing ones which are on the list have to be removed. So Reina V. Bonta is a challenge to the Unsafe Handgun Act, the handgun roster, but also AB 2847, which seeks to reduce that list of approved handguns. Well, the state of California, once this case was filed, sought a motion to dismiss, which essentially sought to get rid of the case. They asked the federal judge to simply just get rid of the case uh, and grant the motion to dismiss. Well, we got word from the judge and the order has not come out that they are granting that motion to dismiss on some aspects and denying that motion to dismiss on other aspects. Now in granting in part the motion to dismiss, this isn't unexpected, especially since there's already Ninth Circuit precedent in Pena uh, approving what the Unsafe Handgun Act does. And even in the plaintiff's papers, they concede that, hey, this Pena case already exists, the Ninth Circuit has already addressed these things, but we think they just simply got it wrong. Well, in granting the motion to dismiss on those aspects, the court simply says, hey, you conceded yourself that there's already this Pena case out there. We know that this Pena case is out there. The Ninth Circuit has already said that the Unsafe Handgun Act is uh, okay. It doesn't violate constitutional rights. So we are going to grant the state's motion to dismiss on those aspects. But what they did say is Pena did not address AB 2847 or the removal of handguns off the handgun roster. So simply this case will move forward and is going to move forward on these new aspects of California law. And what's even more interesting in the court actually denying the motion to dismiss of the state and letting this case move forward um, was some of the things that they talked about in that actual order. They said that the state has not shown a justifiable reason of why they need to remove three handguns 
for every one handgun that is put on the roster. The court says simply there is no rationale for this and that likely this type of thing that California is doing would fail under even the lowest level of scrutiny being intermediate scrutiny. So here you have a court directly seeing through the complete nonsense that California has put forward of saying, hey, we need to remove three for every one. They're saying that math is ridiculous. It doesn't add up at all. If anything, why don't you do a one-to-one -one ratio? So it's really good that the court is seeing through this. We'll see how this plays out, but it is a positive because the court simply could have just dismissed this case and got rid of it. Then it would have moved up to the Ninth Circuit, uh, would have been appealed. There would have been a three-judge panel review, maybe an en banc review. But at least now it is moving forward through the trial. We'll see what happens throughout the trial. Um, we'll see how the court ultimately comes down on this and, and how they ultimately rule. But this is a good thing that is actually moved past that motion to dismiss because a lot of these California cases don't even get that far. So that's just a quick update on this uh, handgun roster case. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this case, this Reina case, this Reina v. Bonta case slash Reina v. Becerra case. I know it's confusing. The names have changed now because Becerra has left, but it is Reina v. Bonta now. Um, but I just want to give you guys an update on that because this is some good news. It's something positive. You have a court at least seeming like they're going to lean in the favor of the Second Amendment and is seeing through the ridiculousness that California is doing through something like AB 2847. We'll ultimately see how this plays out when it goes all the way through the process. Um, it's likely going to be appealed still by the state of California because they appeal everything. So we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to get you guys this update because a lot of you guys have been asking about the handgun roster case. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll try to answer the best of my ability. Also, if you guys like this video and like support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell because it helps the channel analytics, helps to spread the word about the second amendment, also spread the word about things like this that are going on in the state of California that affect your second amendment rights. I also wanna mention real quick that pretty soon, in just a couple weeks, we are going to be having a channel event, the Armed in May event, where you can come out to Route 66 Shooting Sports Park in San Bernardino, meet myself and Reno May. We are going to have some shooting. There's gonna be a ton of vendors out there. There's gonna be a ton of giveaways. There's gonna be food. It's gonna be a two day event, May 8th and May 9th. So if you're interested, if you wanna come out, meet me, Reno May, have a good time, shoot some guns, eat some food, things like that. Um, you can do that. I'll put a link down in the details section below to the event if you want to reserve a spot. It has all the additional information that you will need. Again, I'm really excited to meet a lot of you guys, and I'm really excited for this event. So I'll see you guys all out there. So as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And never forget, this nation was built by armed scholars. This nation will be maintained by armed scholars.